Hello, we are not your mum. Um, domestic abuse or dating violence, as it's also sometimes known, is in the news at the moment because of a radio soap called The Archers on Radio 4, uh, Free Helen. Um, and meanwhile, it's also been reported that um, prosecutions in gender-based crime, including domestic abuse, are up by 10%, so it is a good thing to talk about. Domestic abuse or dating violence is where one person in the relationship, um, in straight relationships it's usually the man, um, physically hurts, um, abuses or controls the other person. As well as physical abuse, it can also be sexual abuse or emotional, which is usually when the other person is um, controlled by the abuser. Um, this can mean uh, controlling their phone, putting a tracker on it, um, controlling who they're allowed to see, how much money they have access to, what they look like, the clothes they wear in their hairstyle and that kind of thing. Um, so it doesn't have to involve physical violence. Um, so you could be the victim of domestic abuse and not even have a mark on you. Anyone, basically. Anyone of any age, from any background, any race, any sexual orientation. Um, anyone. It's horribly common for teen relationships to be abusive, so it doesn't even just have to be a proper grown-ups. So whether you're the child of a family in which domestic abuse is happening, or maybe you're the younger um, brother or sister of someone who is the victim of dating violence, this video is for you. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's, uh, what's happening is abuse, especially if it's not the physical kind. Like in the Archer storyline, um, the abuser can make the other person feel like they're going mad or imagining things. But as a rule of thumb, if somebody has to change their behaviour because they're scared of how their partner's going to react, then that is an abusive relationship. BreakTheCycle.org lists some common warning signs of dating violence, domestic abuse, which hopefully will be on the screen now. And they include things like uh, checking the other person's Facebook, Instagram, etc., or their phone, text messages, WhatsApps, without permission, or constantly putting them down and belittling them, or um, there's the physical violence as well hitting. If you or your mum, um, we're using mum because it's most commonly it happens to the women in the relationship, but it could be your dad as well. Uh, if you need help right away, then dial 999 and ask for the police. So give your name, address and telephone number and tell them what is happening and don't hang up. Um, if you do, then they will call back to make sure that the call is genuine and in that time, the you know your dad or stepdad or mum's boyfriend, whoever, could intercept the phone call and, you know, say, everything's fine, don't worry, um, which could just make the whole thing worse. Mm -hmm. You can put the phone down on the table or whatever, um, but it's just so that the police can hear what's going on while they're on the way to you. If you aren't in immediate danger, then the best thing you can do is speak to an adult you trust. And I know we always say that, but that's because it's true. But you can be creative, it doesn't have to be like your parent or a relative or your teacher or whatever. Um, it could be any adult, so maybe you get on well with um, your, mom, your friend's mum or, your, or a friend of your mum even, or um, your sports or music coach or just someone in the a office neighbor, school. A neighbour, yeah. Any adult you trust. You can also call Childline on 0800 1111 or the NSPCC on 0808 800 5000. Um, calls are free and you don't have to give your name or anything like that. To find out more about any of this, you can go to refuge.org, but we'll put all phone numbers, uh, links and all that in the description. Tell someone. Um, even if you said to your sister that you wouldn't tell anyone, um, do it. Do, just do. do it. It's not your responsibility to fix this, um, but it is your responsibility to tell an adult about it. This advice also stands if you think one of your friends is being abused at home as well, by the way. It's the abuser's fault. End of. Um, drink, drugs, illness, stress or anything else, they are not excuses. Um, you get, you know, drug addict, alcoholic, chronically ill, stressed people 
hardly ever feel the need to abuse their partner. No one ever deserves to be abused and no one is ever asking for it. Again, links and phone numbers are in the description. Um, thank you very much for watching.